Tonight at 5, why UW Health nurses are threatening to strike next month and how it could impact patient care. Plus, more trigger laws banning abortion access in several states go into effect this week. How the Biden administration is vowing to push back. And the legal battle continues for former President Trump. The public could see parts of an affidavit that led to the FBI search against Florida home. They could see it as early as tomorrow. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. You know, I guess my question for them is, what do you have to lose? If you respect us the way that you say you do, if we have the input that you say we do, then why not recognize us? UW Health nurses and the provider are preparing for a showdown in less than three weeks. A showdown three years in the making, which could impact patient care. The nurses threatening to strike next month unless UW Health recognizes their union. Naomi Coles outside the hospital now with more tonight. Naomi? Yeah, this is a culmination of three years worth of effort, and it's a unionization drive that we're also seeing in other neighboring states. Over in Minnesota right now, thousands of nurses are threatening to strike if their demands are not met. Now, nurses' demands for even a meeting here at UW Health over the years have been rebuffed. A core question is legality. Act 10 stripped the bargaining rights from public employees, and while UW is a state system, its employees are not state employees. Legal opinions have differed, but UW maintains today that recognizing the union would would violate the law, but without that, a strike will happen. The hospital has to replace all of us. So they're going to have to get um, agency nurses to come in and replace every single nurse in the building since they won't know exactly how many nurses are participating. Um, but I know that in certain clinics they're already um, taking patients off schedules and trying to move them. Um, I, and I would assume around that time that they will start to try to move patients out of the hospital. But it will 100% disrupt patient care. UW Health in a statement today said nurses should petition the state directly for recognition, but without a court decision, they will not play ball in recognizing the union. All of this sets up a potentially big disruption in patient care at the hospital behind me, plus an open-ended strike that is going to start for three days, but it's open-ended. It could go for longer. More on that, plus what the Attorney General has said about all this tonight at 6 o'clock. Naomi Coles live tonight. Naomi, thank you. So, could we see some more rain tonight? Meteorologist Julian Seawright on the weather patio with the Answer, Julia. Well, as of right now, we are looking at some dry spots just out here on our weather patio, but areas just around Dane County are still dealing with a little bit of some pop-up showers. As we take a look at our radar currently, this is what we're tracking just to the northwest of Madison, a couple of pocket showers, but overall could start to see just a few more develop as we get into the later part of this evening. But overall, things are not going to be too widespread like we've seen over the last 24 hours. We've got some significant rainfall totals from Dane County all the way over towards northern in Crawford County and Grant County as well. As we can see, areas have ranged from three inches to two inches and even an inch and a half of rainfall for those areas stretching in over towards Washington County as we go over the last 24 hours for us. But for today, how things stacked up outside of the rainfall and the cloudy conditions, well, temperatures were not too bad for us. A bit on the humid side, but we were rather normal at 79 degrees here in Madison so far for today. And we're not going to be looking at too much in terms of heating as we continue throughout the rest of the evening. 75 degrees right now in Janesville was 78 into Platteville and taking a look into Dane County in itself currently right now we're seeing a bit of areas just to the north between uh, Wanakee uh, and for Sun Prairie into those upper 70s and that's pretty much going to be the theme for us as we continue throughout the rest of the evening. Dew points right now rather humid quite on the uncomfortable side of the scale as we're getting things rolling for our evening but again we can't rule out a potential shower or even a thunderstorm later into the evening but overall things will start to quiet up by the time we get into tonight. We'll take a look at what else to expect for the back end of the work week in just a few moments. Until then, Betsy, you, Eric. Julian, thank you. Public sector employees are leaving their jobs in unusually high numbers. That's according to a new analysis from the Wisconsin Policy Forum. So what does that mean for all those public employees and the agencies, of course, that rely on them? Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Will? So it's the most the state has seen since at least 2002. More than 17,000 employees left some, some, some sort of form of public job in 2021. There's this really sharp um, increase in people leaving. Ari Brown with the Wisconsin Policy Forum says the data is elusive. So they tapped into the state's pension system, the Wisconsin Retirement System, or WRS, which shows how and when people leave the pension system. In 2011, it was a different story. 
process of Act 10, saw, you know, what was happening with collective bargaining and basically said, I, this is my time to leave uh, and, and did that through retirement. But now people are not retiring, but leaving public employment altogether at sky high rates. This includes state workers, but also municipal workers and public school teachers that all tap into the same pension system. So you could think of it as people being fired. You could think of it as people quitting, taking other jobs, um, you know, becoming a stay at home parent. And with that downsizing, Wisconsin is losing some of its institutional memory. In 2010, the average employee in the system had 12 years experience. Now it's down to 11. I think anyone who's in any job right now can think of how much they can learn in that job over the course of a year. And you apply that to hundreds of thousands of employees. So what can public employers do to stem the fall off of employees? Brown says it's a matter of making those workplaces more inviting. That can be as simple as a pay increase, but there are also other ways. I think just a lot of new job opportunities opened up uh, when you know, companies realized that, hey, we can actually shift a lot of our stuff online um, and remote, and that opened up a lot of new possibilities. So for municipalities struggling, they can take other steps to mitigate the loss of employees. Brown says consolidation is a tool that they might use, which means combining uh, different services across multiple towns. Well, thank you. A man seriously hurt after he was shot on Madison's east side overnight. Police say it happened on Darbo Drive, a few blocks from the Salvation Army. This was about 1.30. It's unclear what led to that shooting, and right now no one is in custody. Madison police are investigating a burglary on the city's north side that left two people tied up while three masked men Men invaded their home. Officers received a call to Dryden Drive around 2 this morning. Homeowners told police three masked men forced their way inside, tied them up, stole cash and other items. Investigators say the incident was a targeted act, but no one is in custody at this time. Darrell Brooks, the suspect in the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy, was in court for a hearing today. Brooks accused of killing six and injuring more than 70 others after he drove his SUV through the parade. Defense attorneys have filed several motions, including one to throw out a recording of his interrogation the night of the incident. The prosecution is concerned Brooks was plotting to fake his mental health condition for an insanity plea. A Waukesha County judge will decide what evidence will be admissible in court when that trial starts on October 3rd. The Biden administration and abortion rights advocates are pushing back on so-called trigger laws that take effect in several states this week. Tennessee, one of four Republican-led states with laws taking effect today that severely limit abortion. Abortions. For now, Idaho can only partially enforce its trigger law after a federal judge ruled doctors can end a pregnancy to save a mother's life or health at hospitals that accept Medicare funding. But another judge in Texas blocked federal guidance regarding emergency abortion services. The state's law, which bans the procedure as soon as a fetal heartbeat is detected, does have an exception for the life of the mother, but legal experts say it is ambiguous. There's not a clear definition of what exactly that is and what is going to fall in that category. And so that leaves medical providers in a real predicament. The abortion battle continues to play out in the courtroom and at the polls, with Democrats seizing the issue to drive turnout in this year's midterm elections. The White House says President Biden will again lay out his party's stance on the issue tonight at a political rally in the state of Maryland. We will soon get a look at parts of the document the government used to obtain a search warrant for former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Elise Preston now with the details. A federal judge in Florida has ordered parts of the affidavit used to authorize the search warrant for former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home be made public no later than noon Friday. Judge Bruce Reinhardt ruled redactions the government submitted Thursday are necessary to protect the identities of witnesses, law enforcement agents, and uncharged parties. Some redactions are also masking the strategy, direction, scope, sources, and methods of the investigation. CBS News and other media outlets had sued to have the affidavit made public. Now the redacted version will be unsealed Friday. Former President Trump has said he wants the full affidavit made public, but his attorneys have not made any requests to the courts to make that happen. Trump has called the search of his home politically motivated. FBI agents executed the search warrant earlier this month and found 11 sets of classified documents at the Florida estate. In a letter made public this week, the National Archives said it had been trying to retrieve the documents for months. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.
Attorney General Merrick Garland dismissed the criticism that the search was politically motivated, saying it was authorized only after a grand jury found probable cause to authorize the warrant. A Uvalde, Texas school board unanimously voted to fire district police chief Pete Arredondo, but families of the victims at Robb Elementary School say that's not enough. 20 law enforcement agencies were on the scene that day, but waited 77 minutes before entering the classroom. Arredondo attempted to negotiate with the gunman and spent time searching for a master key to the classrooms, but Arredondo has said he didn't believe he was the incident commander in charge that day. Many families are demanding accountability from other law enforcement agencies who were on scene and say they are planning to file a $27 billion lawsuit. An investigation underway in Indiana after a teen was shot and killed while waiting for his school bus. It happened in Greenwood this morning. That's just south of Indianapolis. Police believe the 16-year-old was targeted in the attack. A number of schools were put under lockdown as crews investigated. Officers are still looking for a suspect. Jeffrey Epstein accomplice Ghislaine Maxwell is being sued for unpaid legal fees. A Denver law firm suing Maxwell, her brother, and her estranged husband for more than $878,000. Maxwell allegedly told her attorneys after she was in prison that her brother would coordinate the financial aspects of her defense. Maxwell was convicted last year for her role in helping Epstein sexually abuse underage girls. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison. The firm continually threatened to stop representing Maxwell beginning in 2020 after legal fees continued to go unpaid. Harvey Weinstein has been granted another day in court. New York's highest court has agreed to hear the former movie mogul's appeal. It challenges a 2020 conviction on sexual abuse crimes, including rape. The Court of Appeals decision comes after a lower court rejected that request. Weinstein maintains he is innocent of the charges. He's currently serving a 23-year prison sentence. A new warning from Chick-fil-A. The fast food giant says some of its grilled chicken nuggets and fillets contain a dairy allergen. Officials say their supplier accidentally added the ingredient to the Chick-fil-A recipe. That mistake is affecting Chick-fil-A locations nationwide, including the locations here in Madison. Julian has more on tonight's rain chances. That's next at 5, plus historic rainfall and droughts continue to plague much of the U.S. A closer look at what communities are getting hit the hardest is after the break. And later, take a look at this in Sun Prairie. Police are still looking for an armed robbery suspect that led them on a high-speed chase. We'll have the details next hour on News 3 Now at 6. A strong day across the board for the markets. The Dow surging more than 322 and a half. The Nasdaq adds 208. The S&P jumps 58. We'll be right back. Ashley's Labor Day Mattress Preview Sale is going on now. Save up to $1,000 on Serta, up to $800 on Purple, and up to $700 on Tempur-Pedic. Plus special financing and free furniture on select mattresses. It's the Labor Day Preview Sale, this week only at Ashley. Attention homeowners, we started out with 50, then 30, and now we've reached the final days looking for 20 homeowners who need new windows. Now we want to take out your old windows and install new Eco Sky windows, featuring Sky Mirror technology to give your home an energy upgrade. Call Mad City Windows. Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for new Eco Sky Windows. Final days act now to be one of 20 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months, no interest, no payment, senior military discounts. We'll take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program and receive a free $50. Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify. 608-338-1616, 608-338-1616. Check it out. It'd be crazy to do this drug. And we mean all your wheels. How do you use your energy? Hitting the ball farther than yesterday? Fielding whatever comes your way? Trying to shine as bright as the sun? At Alliant Energy, we bring more clean, renewable energy to our customers every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about each other. Alliant Energy. Powering beyond. 
Ashley's Labor Day Preview Sale is going on now. Don't miss 30% off furniture, plus an additional 15% off, or no interest for 60 months. It's the Labor Day Preview Sale, and it's this week only at Ashley. Ahead at 6, the great resignation takes hold of local Wisconsin jobs. As the state sees employees leave in waves, we ask how the state plans to recoup workers and provide important services moving forward. Tonight at 6, it all comes down to the final drive. News 3 now brings you the big play highlights and scores from Southern Wisconsin high school football action. Don't miss the final drive. Fridays on News 3 now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. This week, historic amounts of rain have fallen over much of the U.S. More is expected today, but it is a different story in the Northeast where a drought continues. Mike Valerio has the latest. As record-setting rain fell across much of the South, the rescues were daunting amid the dangerous deluge. Just outside of Jackson, Mississippi Wednesday, first responders evacuating dozens of seniors. We got everybody out, and that's the most important thing. We can replace the stuff, yeah. but the people are out. In nearby Florence, children piled onto a tactical truck with more than 100 kids and 15 adults rescued from a daycare. Our cars are damaged, houses are damaged, and everything. As heavy rains pounded the region, the ground buckled under sections of highway, sending this truck into the floodwater below. Saturated soil moved train tracks, with two pressurized train cars rolling into a 20-foot ditch. And I've been here 13 years, and this is by far by far the worst is ever flooded. Despite the devastation, record rainfall is helping to improve drought conditions across parts of the South. New data from the U.S. Drought Monitor show areas of Texas in exceptional drought decreased by more than half this week. It's a different story in the Northeast, where scientists say the drought persisted or expanded, especially across Vermont, Connecticut, and New Jersey. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. So what's in store for our area? Julian Seawright with your forecast. Julian? Well, the good news is we are going to be expecting over the next 24 hours a bit more dry conditions, but a couple of showers or even an isolated thunderstorm cannot be ruled out for the rest of our evening. Before tonight is what we're going to be seeing outside of our sky cam as of right now. Some low-level cumulus clouds still holding on to a bit of some moisture here in southern Wisconsin and Madison in particular. It's 79 degrees for us and continuing throughout the rest of the evening. We're going to slowly but surely start to cool down as we head into tonight. And on top of that, the cloud cover is going to start to break up for more open and sky heading into the later part of tonight. Low temperatures are going to be expected around 58 degrees in Madison, 62 in Janesville, and 63 in Platteville. So areas near the Illinois state line are going to see a bit more warmer temperatures. But north of Dane County, we can see those middle to upper 50s and even lower 50s near Camp Douglas. Now, as we take a look at our radar as of right now, again, still just some popcorn showers are on our radar. But overall, we're not looking at widespread or going to be anticipating any more widespread rain for us as we continue throughout the rest of this evening. Now, taking a look at the last 24 hours, we had a good rainmaker that just swept its way through southern Wisconsin, which brought some areas almost three and a half inches of rain just to the southwest of Lone Rock and over here towards Madison, just to the south. We were close to around two inches in some areas, did report around two and a half inches of rain, and then to the northwest of Dane County, we saw close to around three inches of rain, and just near Washington County, around two inches. So many of us were ranging from one to two to three inches of rainfall over the last 24 hours. Again, a healthy rainmaker that just swept its way through, but it has swept its way again through the upper Midwest as it continues to track its way across the Lake Michigan area. We're going to be seeing some cooler temperatures coming in, but with that cold front slacking behind just a bit, the cooler temperatures aren't here just yet, but we're going to anticipate it by the time we get into tonight. Again, could see a couple of isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but overall things are going to stay rather dry for about 98% of us. Heading into the overnight hours, cooling down into those low 60s, upper 50s. By the time you're heading out the door, some fog will start to develop, so make sure that you're taking it easy and also driving carefully with caution as you're heading to work the next morning. As we go into our Friday mid-morning, temperatures are still going to be rather pleasant, and it will be around mild as we get into around the lunchtime hours. We're going to see those low 70s and mid-70s 
Still, again, plenty of sunshine. It's going to stick around for us throughout the course of our Friday and especially heading into our Friday nights. Transitioning into Saturday morning, a bit more cloud cover will start to build, but it's going to be a rather pleasant start to our Saturday. But on Saturday afternoon, could start to see late morning into the lunchtime hour. Some showers starting to develop just to the northwest that will start to try to bring in a bit more rain for us as we get into the rest of our Saturday. But overall, as we go into our Sunday, not looking at too much rainfall until we get into to our Sunday afternoon. We are looking at another weather maker to start to bring in some more rainfall chances for us by the time we get into our Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, but still looking at a couple of chances going into our Monday and Tuesday. Outside of that, it's going to be rather dry for Friday and Saturday until about Saturday afternoon. And Saturday night, not so much. Sunday is where we're looking at humid, but more chances of rain to stick around for us. But overall, things are going to be rather stable as we get into next week. A quick look at our traffic along the Beltline, looking all smooth as butter as we're getting into our 5 p.m. commute and for the interstate as well. Still looking pretty smooth as we're getting our 5 o'clock p.m. hour for traffic going for us. It's going to do it for right now. Let's go ahead and toss it back to you, Eric. Julian, thank you. Some non-invasive brain stimulation may help boost memory in older adults. That's according to a new study study involving mild electrical currents sent to the brain. Researchers said a low-dose alternating current to two parts of the brain that are known for storing and recalling information. 17 of 20 people studied who received current were better able to recall words from the beginning of a word test. The groups of people were 65 and older in both groups. They also had a sham group, which basically people put on a, a cap. Um, they felt heat in the cap, but they did not actually have any current applied, and they did not see any benefit in that group. In the study, improvements were most pronounced in people with the poorest memories who researchers say would be considered to have mild cognitive impairment. Still to come, vinyl, still a special form of music to so many, but it's actually toxic to make a record physically. So here's how one man's going to change that. It's next at 5. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At iMart Express, you'll save on glasses for classes. For 79 bucks, get two pairs with KidSafe polycarbonate lenses and a free one-year frame warranty. Don't let the bell ring before you get a chance to save. A $200 value, all for 79 bucks. If your windows are foggy or losing energy, the problem could be the seals are leaking. So call Mad City Windows for new Eco Sky Windows, 114% more airtight than the average window, with a higher energy rating than any other window on the market. The quality of the windows are just great. And just being able to raise them up easily without having to use all of my strength <laughs> is definitely a plus. Now we're looking for 20 homeowners who need new windows. Final days to save with free installation. 18 months, no interest, no payments. We'll compensate you for your time. Call during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify 608-338-1616 608-338-1616 before treating your chronic migraine 15 or more headache days a month each lasting four hours or more you're not the only one with questions about botox botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months so ask your doctor if botox is right for you and if a sample is available Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. 
Get the guaranteed lowest appliance and grill prices of the season at the end of summer clearance sale at Grand Appliance. Save up to 25% instantly on unbeatable deals like this LG Mega Capacity Washer for just $6.98 and up to $1,000 in additional package rebate savings you won't find anywhere else. Shop your local showroom or grandappliance.com today. Grand Appliance. You make it home. We make it grand. iMart Express owns selection, price, and speed. Need single vision? Get two pairs starting under 40 bucks. Progressives, two pairs start under 80. Nobody beats us guaranteed. iMart Express. Right classes, right price, right now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. The daughters of the late actor Paul Newman are suing his legendary namesake foundation. They accuse Newman's own of not giving enough funds to the charities of their choice. The foundation has permission to use the movie star's name and likeness if each of Newman's daughters is given $400,000 per year to be donated. According to the suit, the foundation recently cut that amount in half. Newman's daughters are seeking $1.6 million in damages, which they will then be giving to charities. A spokesperson for the foundation says the lawsuit is without merit. In the music industry, old is still gold with vinyl. The needle has been dropping now for generations, so why mess with it? Well, it turns out making vinyl is incredibly toxic, so that led Mark Carey on a four-year journey to reinvent the record, turning black vinyl green. Evolution Music is turning the tables, testing an eco-friendly secret recipe, including sugar and starches, spinning out records they hope one day will become an industry standard, and that's music to artists' ears. I want sustainable products in a 21st century environment, so I had to form a new company and do it myself. Well, the first time I heard one of those, those test pressings, I, I couldn't believe what I was listening to was basically made of bioplastic and plant waste. It's incredible. Well, even REM's Michael Stipe and pioneering American artist B.D. Wolf are among the musicians getting into the groove. Vinyl sales in the U.S., by the way, topped $1 billion last year, and that is a first since back in the mid-1980s. We'll have a final check of your first worn forecast after a short break. Ashley's Labor Day Mattress Preview Sale is going on now. Save up to $1,000 on Serta, up to $800 on Purple, and up to $700 on Tempur-Pedic. Plus special financing and free furniture on select mattresses. It's the Labor Day Preview Sale, this week only at Ashley. Enjoy full sunlight while protecting your home's interior against damaging UV rays with new Eco Sky Windows featuring Sky Mirror technology, only from Mad City Windows. Built-in weather barriers minimize air leaks, reduce condensation and provide a healthier environment for your family. Design your view with styles like bay, bow, double hung, sliders and more. Easy to operate and easy to clean. Final days, don't miss out. 20 homeowners will save with free installation on a house full of new windows. 18 months no interest, no payment. Senior military discounts will take before and after pictures. Compensate you for your time. Last chance to call during this program to get a free $50 Amazon gift gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify. 608-338-1616, 608-338-1616. I'm Scott Peterson, the Peterson Grain Farms, and this is my John Deere. We're a family farm, we raise corn, soybeans. When you walk through their door, you're not a number, you're a name. And they go to their nth degree to get what you need to run your operation. For an example, one night uh, I ate a rock and took the feeder house chain out of our combine. On a Friday night at 8 o'clock, they pulled in to fix that combine, and by 9.30, we were cutting beans again. I'm Scott Peterson of Peterson Grain Farms, and this is why I think Sloan's first. Made in America is more than just a slogan. It's smart policy. When we manufacture things here, our shelves are stocked, and it creates jobs you can raise a family on like my parents had. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I'm tired of the excuses from millionaires running the Senate. I'll bring manufacturing back here so folks like you who actually earn your paychecks finally get a fair shot. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. 
Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. Ashley's Labor Day Preview Sale is going on now. Don't miss 30% off furniture, plus an additional 15% off, or no interest for 60 months. It's the Labor Day Preview Sale, and it's this week only at Ashley. Here's what we're working on tonight. Fears of a nuclear meltdown in Ukraine grow after Europe's largest power plant disconnected from the power grid twice. Plus the nationwide teacher shortage, school districts offering everything from four-day work weeks to hiring bonuses to retain educators. And ahead of the U.S. Open, how some of the biggest tennis stars in the world are playing for Ukraine. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. And Julian's back as we take a final check of the forecast. Well, things are going to be pretty smooth heading into tomorrow, but our three things we're going to need to know is heading into this weekend. We're looking for some unsettled weather to be on the way, which could be bringing in a bit more rainfall for us, especially going into parts of our Saturday, but specifically Sunday, Monday, and for our Tuesdays, what we're going to be watching for. Other than that, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing once we're out of our Tuesday, Eric. Well, last week, we were a little worried about high school football. Looks like it's going to be pretty good oh, for it's going Friday to be night. Perfect Friday night lights. Weather. Julian, thank you. And we're back in 30 minutes with more updates on News 3 Now at 6. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News.